everybody, I hope you're doing great. Today we're going to do a read aloud. And remember, the true story of the three little pigs. Let's get started. Lily, Paul, Wolf. I was feeling a little better, but I still didn't have my cup of sugar. Well, didn't have my cup of sugar. So I went to the next neighbor's house. The, this neighbor was the first little pig brother. He was a little smarter, but not much. He had built his house of sticks. I rang the bell on the stick house. Nobody answered. I called Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? He yelled back, go away, wolf. You can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin. See? Here's on my chin chin chin. I had just grabbed the doorknob when I felt another sneeze coming. Oh, and I huffed and I snuffed and I tried to cover my mouth, but but I sneezed a great sneeze. Oh, look, that thing is a knife, a spoon, a fork. In another fork. You are, and you're not going to believe it. But this guy's house fell down, just like his brothers. When the dust cleared, there was the second little pig, dead as a doornail wolf's honor. What do you think the wolf's gonna do? Is he gonna spoil it or eat it? I can eat it. Now you know. Food will spoil if you just leave it out in the open. So I had, so I did the only thing there was to do. I had dinner again. See, think of it as a second helping. I was getting awfully full, but my cold was feeling a little better. And I still didn't have that cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. So I went to the next house. This guy was the first and second little pig's brother. He must have been the brains of the family. He had built his house of, house of bricks. I knocked on the brick house. No answer. I called Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig, are you in? And do you know what? That rude little porker answered. Get out of here, wolf. Don't bother, bother me again. See? Talk about impoilet. He probably had a whole sack of sugar. And he wouldn't give me even one little cup for my dear, dear sweet old granny's birthday cake. What a pig. I was just about to go home and maybe make a nice birthday card instead of a cake. When I felt my cold coming on, I huffed and I snuffed and I snee sneezed once again. Then the third little pig yelled, and your old granny can't sit on a pin. Uh-oh, what is he gonna do? Now, I'm usually a pretty calm fellow, but when somebody talks about my granny like that, I go a little crazy. When the cops drove up, of course, I was trying to break down the pig's, this pig's door. And the whole time, I was huffing and puffing, sneezing and making real in sing. Oh my God. Look. The rest, as they say, in is history. Oh, look. The news reports found out about the two pigs I had for dinner. They figured a sick guy going to borrow a cup of sugar, cup of sugar didn't sound very exciting. So they jazzed up the story with all of that. Huff and puff and blow your house down. And they made me a, me the big bad wolf. 
that's it. The real story. I was framed. But maybe you could loan me a cup of sugar. Would you? No. Because he would eat us. That's the end of the true story of the three little pigs. Now you know the real, the other story of the three little pigs wasn't the real one. This that we just read was the real one. Let's put in our collection. And I hope you enjoyed the reading. We read today. Bye.